All right, this is first grade, module two, lesson 17. And in this lesson, we are now going to be subtracting by eight. So all of the stuff that we've been doing in the previous lessons, uh, the variety of strategies that we've been using, we've been using exclusively subtract by nine. And that's just to get our, our C legs going and so that our students can understand with uh, changing the fewest number of variables, right? Uh, now, though, we're going to start subtracting by 8 as well. And I would imagine in future lessons we're going to rapidly progress to then start generalizing these strategies to subtracting any number, 7, 6, 5. Um, so the idea is we're going to continue using the strategies that we were using in previous lessons uh, but now we're going to use it with 8 as the number being subtracted. So the directions sh say, show how you would solve 14 minus 8, either with a number bond or a drawing. I'm going to do both real quick. Uh, let's start with the drawing. So what is, I, what, what is the drawing going to look like? Well, uh, Eureka Math often, lately, has been using just the idea of putting these 14 dots in a row in groups of five. So you have five dots, five dots, and then another four dots. Uh, I prefer 10 frame just because it helps the students keep track of their numbers. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it's easy to count. And then uh, four, four, uh, four more gives us 14. It just gives the students a better chance of counting correctly instead of accidentally putting four, uh, 15 dots or something like that. Now, using the drawing, we're going to subtract 8. So that's pretty straightforward. We're going to cross off 8. So that's 5, the whole top row, plus 3 in the bottom row. And so now we are going to see that we have the original 4 plus the remaining 2 in the 10 frame. Uh, so now, how many do we have? Oh, the answer is, uh, let's see, we're going to do 4 plus these 2. So the answer is 6. So that means uh, 14 minus 8 equals 6. Okay, so that's the drawing. So what would the number bond look like? Well, the number bond would look like one way to do it is I'm going to put 14 here and I'm going to I'm going to subtract from 10. So I'm going to decompose so that we've got a 4 and a 10. So of course, our we want our first graders to recognize that 14 is decomposed as 4 and 10. And I'm going to squeeze in here minus 8. So 14 minus 8. So now we see that 10 minus 8 is 2, plus we have that original 4 sitting there, so our answer is, again, 6. So 14 minus 8 is 6. So you have two methods. You have the drawing method up here. You have the number bond method down here using the subtract from 10 method. Now there are other ways that students could uh, do their number bond, and this is kind of interesting. I'm just thinking of this. So parents and teachers, if you have a student who says, you know, I want to choose a different number bond. I want to choose the number bond 6 and 8. And then 8 minus 8 is 0. 0 plus the original 6 gives us 6. Woohoo! That's another way to do it, right? Let your students do that. I mean, that's kind of atypical, but that's certainly a way to differentiate for for kids. Kids who want to be out-of-the-box thinkers, let them figure out a different way that they can decompose the 14 and still subtract 8 and still get the answer of 6. Here they are specifically telling us to draw and then circle the 10 and then get your answer, right? So let's start off by, however, um, reading the question. So it says Lucy has $12, she spends $8, how much money does she have now? So the first thing I want to do is I want to write our little number sentence because I'm a math teacher and I like number sentences. So there's, there's our number sentence, 12 minus 8, and uh, we're going to draw. And what is that drawing going to look like? Well, I'm going to make it look sort of like a 10 frame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 11, 12. So there is our drawing of the $12. Now, to, to demonstrate or to model the subtract 8, I'm going to cross off these 5. I'm going to cross off 3 down here. And so what is our answer? Well, we have these 2 plus the, written, the uh, 2 left over from the 10 frame. So we have 
the 2 left over from the 12, and then the 2 left over from the 10 frame, and so now we have the answer of 4. So how much money does Lucy have? She now has $4. Now you'll notice I did not circle a 10, and really what they wanted me to do was put a circle or a rectangle around the 10, and then show you that there's a 10 plus 2, so that's our 12. Essentially what we're doing is we're kind of like saying, oh, we're going to decompose and we're going to highlight the fact that 12 is made up of 2 plus 10. Kind of like over here, 12 is made up of these 2 plus these 10. That's why they wanted me to circle the 10. So of course if we wanted to finish this over here, we could see that 10 minus 8 is 2. 2 plus the original 2 gives us 4, and that's exactly the answer we knew. And the last problem for this video, uh, draw and circle 10, or use the number bond. And so, good, let's read the question. Sean has 15 dinosaurs. He gives 8 to his sister. How many dinosaurs does he keep? So the number sentence that we're de dealing with is 15 minus 8. So we have choices, right? So a uh, number bond method. Let's do a number bond method. So I'll say, okay, I'm going to decompose that so I have a 10, because we like to subtract from 10, don't we? So 10 minus 8 is 2, plus the original 5 gives us the answer of 7. Woohoo! So Sean keeps seven dinosaurs. Now if we wanted to draw that picture, what our picture would look like is, well, we would model 15. So there's my model of 15, and then because it says subtract 8, we're going to cross off 8. And so what's our answer? Our answer is these two plus the original 5, so the answer is 7. 2 plus 5 equals 7. And that wraps up le grade 1, module 2, lesson 17, where we are now subtracting by 8, and we're still using uh, two strategies. We're getting, we're letting, actually three, we're letting students use the counting on strategy, we're letting students use the drawing strategy, and we're letting students use the take from 10 strategy, kind of like the decomposing. And so we're giving students choice, and that is how our students are going to learn math, by knowing that they're in charge of the math rather than the math telling them what to do.